Some of you are going to recognize Delco Danny from previous videos. He is an Uber rider turned client who's turning into a somewhat regular guest here on my channel. So loved by my audience that someone actually sent him a gift. And to get it to him, I was the one that requested to give him a ride. But before I picked him up, I had that debate that we have all had in some way, shape, or form in 2020. Do I have to wear a mask? Will he wear a mask? What if we disagree? Will it be weird? At the end of the day, I fell back on one of my go-to guiding principles. Just worry about what I can control and that's what I did and I wanted to share this because as you'll see Delco Dan and I obviously had different approaches but it wasn't the dumpster fire of a debate that we constantly see online or in the news and I think it's important to remember especially when we're cooped up in quarantine that real life interactions between normal people aren't like those on the internet and yes I'm obviously using the term normal pretty loosely What's up, man? God damn. how you doing Doing good, sweet on. Now listen, this has to be the weirdest. When have you ever gotten a request from an Uber driver to get an Uber? Uh, never. So Actually, what's been up, man? Uh, same old, man. Uh, staying busy. Uh, navigating my way through 2020 best as I can. You know what I mean? Uh, how's how's uh, Corona been treating you? Good, man. I, every Sunday I crush at least 12 of them. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh... I don't know, you know, it is what it is, man. It's, uh, it's a scary world out there, but I'm good. I'm healthy. I haven't had it. Uh, I know a few people that have, but, you know, it is what it is. You peeped a mask, bro? Yeah, what is it? Wear a mask. Yes, dude. Wear a mask, save a grandma. Oh, I'll take one right now from you. Oh, I, I actually, do. unfortunately, I don't have one. Yeah, I'll definitely take one. Oh, I'll, that's awesome. I mean, look, you know, I, I wear a mask when, when, uh, I'm told to, um, uh, but I feel, you know, safe. I don't Here's know. what I don't understand. The way I see it is, my mask protects me from you, right? right? right. So if you're not wearing one, why does it bother me? Right. You know? Uh, yes. Like, uh, you know, I don't get I don't why either. everyone's all up in arms. Dude. I don't know either, man. I try to stay out of it. If you, I comply when I need to go into a place that wants a mask. I comply. Uh, Help yourself to a water bottle. <laughs> My man, I just take your word. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of like uh, people just take responsibility for themselves and what they're doing, and uh, you know. Dude, I could not agree. So I made mean? this. I made this like parody music video. Wear a mask, save a grandma. Right. Right. I don't know if you yeah. saw it. Like, My, like uh, the country. Yeah. Like save a horse. Ride yeah. A cowboy. Dude, you should see some of the comments, man. It was like I was like, it was like I was imposing martial law on some people. Ah, they were like no. freaking out. I'm like, look. I'm just trying to remember where it meant. <laughs> right. I don't care if you wear it or not. I'm just trying to wear it. Yeah, right? I can dig it. Yeah, I mean, you know, to each his own. Yeah. If you want to wear a mask, like, wear a mask. If you don't, exactly. don't. Just worry about you and your own health. Amen you know, to that. Know. People got so worked up, man. I, could, I was yeah. like, look, man, to each their own. I'm not, I don't, I don't yeah, understand it, why it, anyone if, cares if anyone else uh, My man. personal opinion is if, you know, if, if you're afraid and, and worried about it, you know, don't go out to dinner. Don't go to the Acme or, you know, you know, you know, but, uh, could, you know, everybody takes their own risks in life. Could not agree more. And like I said, dude, like if I'm wearing a mask, I'm protected. So why do I care what you're doing? You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You only, only protects what going out, not in. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Way I see it, life's all about risk and reward. I was willing to take what I perceived to be a low risk since I had a mask on and I knew Delco Dan takes his health very seriously. He's in the gym like every day and that's not a joke. I don't think people realize that when you sweat while you exercise, you're basically giving yourself a fever and burning off whatever bugs are in your system. Closing down gyms in the name of public health is the most confusing aspect of this entire thing to me. But if I wasn't wearing a mask, I also wouldn't feel right seeing certain friends and family who are more high risk to me. And that's just me personally. I'm no doctor. I haven't read a single COVID study front to back. It's just what I think from what I've gathered. And I'll keep it real with you guys. The fact that I knew that this ride would be recorded and put online definitely factored into my decision. God forbid my mom gets the Rona and for the rest of my life she brings up a video of me driving around a coughing Delco Danny without a mask on as evidence that I was the one that gave it to her. And this isn't a judgment on Delco Dan not wearing a mask. If you think I'm saying I know better than the next guy you 
you got to twist it. I'm just saying I know what's comfortable for me. Something that's been so obvious to me throughout this whole thing is how everyone seems to have an opinion on what should be done until it affects them. I've legit been with people who are borderline COVID deniers, and then I noticed they were doing the whole 2020 elbow and foot shimmy to get through the Wawa door because they were afraid to touch the handle. That's why I made these no touch tools. I figured if the person who doesn't even think COVID is real is afraid to touch a door handle, even they would want one of these things. Available at eddiepdoyle.com. And I also know people that will talk your ear off about how there needs to be a mask mandate, how masks save lives, but then didn't want to wear a mask when they met my grandmother. Of all times, that's when you wear the mask, dummy. All I'm saying is what I've found that works best for me and my mental and physical health, especially in 2020, is worrying about what I can control and not wasting my energy on things or people that I can't change. Now, with all that open-minded, accepting, live and let live kind of talk I just covered, Delco Danny gave some evidence as to why lockdowns may be necessary after all. Dude, awesome seeing you, man. Love you too. Yeah, man. Come here. <laughs> I'm not gonna kiss you. No, no. Not uh, on camera. I was, I'll take one of the masks, dude. I'm Driver Ed. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and don't try to kiss your Uber driver in the middle of a pandemic, no matter how much you missed them. Driver Ed, over and out.